Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this module, what we're going to focus is on the new things, new features that we have in the software in each release. So let's go back to the presentation. So uh, last week uh, in July, the first week of July of 2022, we have this new service pack for the version 1.2. So this is the bill, okay, and in order to, no, this one, no, bad. so in order to get this new version, basically what we have is if you already have the software installer in your, the Schneider Electric software update, which is this icon over here, okay, you should be able to see that you have this new version to download and then to install. If you are just new with the machine expert basic, what you can do is to get in our website, okay, and download the the application. Okay, this is our website from UK and it's available. You can see over here that you have the version one, the two, the service pack one available. So in this new version, okay, in order to once we install it, which is very simple, just very straightforward, if you really have the machine expert it will uninstall that version and install the new one so once we are with the controller okay if you're using the previous version you're going to have this version of the firmware so in the new version we have this version of the firmware which has has the two over here so when we try to connect to the controller we should be able to see this uh, this message that we have a new firmware available so we can proceed and update it so if we Go back to one of the applications. I have a USB cable connected to the M221. So if I connect to this one, okay, da, da, da. you can see over here that I had a version 1.12.0.0. So the software is telling me that I have a new version. Okay, so I can update controller. Okay, just proceed with this one. And the controller is running and everything is on the other side of the screen, but it's very straightforward. Okay, this is the controller, this is the message, it's just very straightforward. It's just downloading all the data for the firmware. It's very simple. So let's just wait for this to finish. And we validate that we have the new version on the controller. Okay. Perfect, automatic firmware update is complete. Excellent. So, uh, da, da, da. what I want to do now is to let me just check, seems to be available. Let's connect again. And you can see now that I had a version uh, 1.12.12, 1 1.12.2.0, which is the latest one that we have at the moment with the controller. So, let's try to download this application, just add the more project I have. Okay and then continue with the presentation. So this is what we have, the new firmware, that's all. But there is no additional features, okay? You can check this once you install the application or install the software in your laptop, you can see the release note and there is no further information about this. But we have a new system word, which is the percentage SW61, which is related to the hardware ID of the controller. Okay, so if we go to this one in our new controller, so to, to, to be honest, I don't know the real purpose now. Okay, so I believe it's something internal or probably for future implementations. Okay, so animation table. Here we have the percentage SW61 and this number one. Okay, so we have only three values over here. Okay, so it gave us the hardware ID for the Ethernet part. So we have zero, one, and two. So in my case, I got the legacy and it's compatible with all firmware versions. Okay, so in case you connect to a new controller and trying to download a new application, you are not able, you will need to check this. Okay. So reserve for backward compatibility and tape I, which you have the number two, okay, is compatible with the version 1.12.1.1, .1 .1, okay, or later. 
So this is something new that we have. We don't have in the past in the previous version. And then that's it basically. But let me just change the view. What is different or what different? What we have, there are some mitigated anomalies. Uh, probably you suffer one of those ones, but let me just change the view full frame. So this is what we got. Uh, for example, and something I received is this one. Okay. This one is something that we have that we're unable to print the code. Okay. Now I have tested and it seems to be working fine. Okay. So uh, in my case, I don't have too much logic, but I have all this. So if you select the print of this print do, 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 do. the project program uh, program view you and you have here the code okay in the previous version this option weren't available it was a bug and it's working fine okay this one also I experienced this okay but it's sorted out um, you can see others oh, one over here but to be honest I was lucky I didn't see it, didn't experience, but this is one part of the anomaly that have been corrected in the new version. There is also another one, okay, you can see over here, but more information about the anomalies are in the release now when you install the source. So this is just a quick catch up about the new release that was launched in the first week of July of this year, 2022. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I see you on the next one. Doo -doo -doo.